Hello and welcome to another review of Thundering Sengoku Soket Sudan. Today I'm gonna be reviewing SD Zanghe Ultron Gundam. And for weapons and accessories, we get. Oops, accidentally fall out. We get the, the manual for video. You be show. Yu Biesho, yes, and also come with spear memory, which is here this tiny thing. And why I'm moving so fast because I, my space storage is not much, and the eye sticker, which is not good, very good at all. And the articulation is the head will rotate rotate all the way around by some sort of block and easily pop off the arms can go upwards by sliding up this joint a little bit but quite blocked because of the massive head and the lack of movement on the chest there and the so called sub arms on the Mojin Soto, Soto can move there, there, oops, so loose because I've sent it down and it appears to be too tight for the Gundam, for the plastic model itself. I. Why you keep doing that? Stop doing that. I hate it. <laughs> Things get a little messy sometimes. Yeah, and all the movement is quite unlimited, but quite limited because of these pointy bits right there. And it somehow got crash. Yeah, get inside. And the dragon, I think it's dragon, dragon head on the Ultron can move in and out and there it can rotate a bit easily pop off careful and the spear which is this can be pop off like this and attach under here and detach this so it will become like a more more sharper edgy weapon and I'm just gonna remove this because it's quite annoying and the arms can rotate and <laughs> the plastic here does not feel nice at all it's kind of uh what can I describe it as solid and quite hefty and for an SD kit there is a net crunch not entirely an app crunch, but that's what other Gunker reviews say. Yeah, I might as well follow the trend. And this part here was not separated, color separate, I just painted. And the back here is quite like the Ultron Gundam itself, which I pop up the picture right here. And the skirt can pivot just a little bit there. And the legs, on the other hand, has this ankle movement, leg can go down, unlike the Zhang Hei Dynamics Gundam, Wang Zong. <laughs> I mistaken that, sorry. Wang Zong Dynamics, which kinda. Uh, what should I describe it as? Move a little bit to the left or to the right depending on which way it looks and yeah I painted the butt flap here because it, the butt not the butt the back skirt armor with pretty much this paint right here acrylic color and I painted the whole kit itself which turns out looking nice and I even painted the crest 
and the story about Zhang He is that he is uh, so so trusted subordinates where it's also in fighting and uses his shoulder blue blade spear and armor that outpost his shoulder with freedom okay kind of like this one right here and the story about out from Gundam is it was from Marvel's Gundam Wing Endless Waltz and why I say Endless Waltz instead of a normal Gundam Wing because this design is a Katoki design which looks kinda sharp and this arm right here is supposed to be go there which if I remove not remove it looks like this the normal ultron should look like this and I think that's all about it about this thank you so much for watching and like and subscribe if you want to support the channel you can just comment on what should I review on SD Gundam so I'm going to get to them and I will check it out and maybe bought like another one. Anyway, that's it for now. Goodbye.